Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Able Life 9 Quick Tips. A while ago I was asked if there was any way how to simply turn off all the effects in one track at once, like you can do in other doors, which is usually called the bypass um, on the track. Unfortunately, there isn't anything like that in Ableton Live right now, but there are a couple of workarounds that you can use to at least make this go faster. Okay, the first option is to use the show device slots command in the options text file. I'm simply going to link to the video tutorial that explains this in detail and just show you the result here. And the result is that you here now have a, an extra button that you can turn on. And now we see all the devices in all the tracks displayed. So that's, you know, the MIDI instruments, MIDI effects and audio effects, of course. So now it's much quicker just to turn them all off at once and then turn them on again. So that's the first one. The second option would be to simply map them. I would suggest key mapping, but of course you can use MIDI mapping for that as well. I'm going to show you with key mapping right now. So I'm going to use Command K because I'm on a Mac. If you're on Windows, you use Control K. And then I'm going to use all the on and off buttons and simply map them all to the same key on my computer keyboard. Right, then we'll leave the mode and I'll press that key. And you can see everything is turned on and off at once. And the last option that you can use is to group all of the effects in one track, at least temporarily. So then we would simply highlight all the effects in one track and press Command G on Mac, Control G on Windows for grouping them. And now instead of having to turn every single one on and off, I can just do that with the effect track that is created. Right, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net